hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial in today's video we are going to start a new topic a new uh, subject uh, which is uh, very much related to the field of electrical electronics uh, instrumentation basically the sensors and transducers part so it is basically an application of all the concepts of uh, sensors transducers and instrumentation so the topic of discussion is biomedical engineering so the field of biomedical engineering or bioengineering it is uh, the biggest contribution of uh, sensors and transducers to humankind because uh, here the concepts of sensing transduction and instrumentation these technologies are used for uh, the diagnosis of various medical ailments present in human bodies and uh, devising means to treat those elements so it is basically involved in the process of saving human lives so that's why i say that this is the biggest contribution of the field of electronics or electrical engineering the uh, field of sensors transducers and instrumentation to the whole mankind so let's uh, start our discussion with a very basic introduction to biomedical engineering and then we will go deeper and deeper into more and more concepts associated with it so first let us understand what uh, basically the field of bioengineering or biomedical engineering is so it is uh, a discipline that combines and uh, integrates the knowledge of three fields three different domains okay and those three domains are engineering of course uh, basically electrical and electronics engineering as i said sensing transduction and instrumentation and biology and medicine these three domains come together and the meeting point of these three domains gives rise to the field of biomedical engineering okay so it has three main cornerstones the field of biomedical engineering so the first one is of course engineering electrical electronics and instrumentation then biology and then medicine so the main objective of biomedical engineering is first to identify the problems okay what is the objective of biomedical engineering is to first identify the problems to help in the efficient and quicker diagnosis of the medical ailments and then to suggest and devise means and procedures to treat those elements in an effective way okay so it is a cross disciplinary uh, dis it, it it involves the knowledge data and information of the three domains separate domains and it combines the knowledge of the three domains to give rise to various cross disciplinary activities so it actually takes something from each and every domain biology some concepts of biology will be utilized some concepts of chemistry will be utilized where biochemistry comes into play life sciences physics and some mathematics okay so it involves a little bit of everything okay so the field of bioengineering uh, has has taken something some chunk from each and every discipline okay basic uh, disciplines okay it has something from biology something from physics something from chemistry something from life sciences and also uh, some contribution of mathematics so it is systematic qualitative and quantitative so as i said bioengineering 
और बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग इज द मीटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ थ्री मेन डिसिप्लिन्स थ्री मेन एंड सेपरेट डोमेन्स व्हिच कम टुगेदर एंड द मीटिंग पॉइंट इज बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग बायोलॉजी मेडिसिन एंड इंजीनियरिंग सो द फील्ड ऑफ बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग इज अगेन सब डिवाइडेड इनटू वेरियस सब डिसिप्लिन्स ओके व्हिच आर व्हिच शुड बी स्टडीड सेपरेटली in order to understand them in a better way and each of these sub disciplines is very uh, vast and exhaustive okay so let us just discuss them in short so here are the various uh, sub disciplines of uh, biomedical engineering okay so first one is the bionics and biomedical engineering so this field it uh, basically deals with the design of artificial body parts such as artificial limbs artificial legs and uh, hand arms uh, and various other body parts so it is involved in that so here the concept of instrumentation physics and also mechanics those concepts come into play because we have to utilize those uh, knowledge and data to design uh, the various uh, body parts the artificial body parts in order to replace uh, the damaged uh parts in the human body next is tissue engineering again it deals with uh creating artificial organs and these artificial organs are created by combining some biological material and some artificial uh, man made material so some portion will be natural biological materials and some portion will be a man made material okay so where uh, this uh, you can understand with uh, the artificial heart pacemaker machine where uh, other artificial organs are replaced so there this concept comes into play artificial skin so these all of these things which we will discuss in detail in uh, the later parts because if i go into that uh, it would not be sufficient and would take a lot of time so here we are just uh, brushing up uh, the basics okay so the tissue engineering it deals with the artificial organs okay uh, where some component is natural biological and some component is artificial then is genetic engineering uh, it involves with the modification and manipulation of human genes okay uh, gene therapy through Uh, DNA recombinant technology, genetic modification, and genetic splicing. These are the techniques that are used uh, for the modification and manipulation of human genes for the treatment of various uh, diseases or for other uh, purposes. Next is neural engineering. Of course, it uh, the name neural engineering suggests that deals with human brain. So it involves understanding, repairing. replacing and enhancing the neural systems so this all deals with the uh, human brain here the concept of neural networks uh, fuzzy logic and uh, genetic algorithm also those things come into play then we have is the pharmaceutical engineering here it deals with the creation of uh, drugs medicines and various other chemicals for treatment of diseases then we have medical devices so medical devices uh, involves all those uh, equipments tools that are involved in uh, the clinical setup okay so it can be the ultrasonography machine or it can be the laser technology it can be um, all other medical equipments such as uh, the blood pressure measurement machine stethoscope it can be every, anything each and every tool equipment that is present or that is used in the clinical setup in the hospitals in the medical centers those are uh, dealt in the medical devices field of biomedical engineering then we have the medical imaging so the medical imaging is used for uh, developing technologies to form and to view the inside of the human body which is not visible to the naked eye okay so the various imaging technologies can be through ultraviolet 
और रेडियोलॉजी और लेज़र टेक्नोलॉजी और मैग्नेटिज्म सो वेरियस टेक्निक्स इट कैन बी अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी इंडोस्कोपी और अदर इमेजिंग टेक्निक्स दैट आर यूज इट कैन बी थ्रू लेजर सेंसिंग सो वेरियस टेक्नोलॉजीज हैव कम अप सो ऑल ऑफ दोज आर दोज थिंग्स दे कम अंडर मेडिकल इमेजिंग देन वी हैव द लास्ट विच इज़ क्लिनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो हेयर एज आई सेड इट डील्स विद द एक्चुअल इंस्टॉलेशन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द वेरियस इक्विपमेंट्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज इन हॉस्पिटल्स एंड अदर क्लिनिकल सेटिंग सो इट इन्वॉल्व्स टीचिंग द मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल्स हाउ टू यूज दोज इक्विपमेंट्स दोज टूल्स फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द मेडिकल एलिमेंट्स एंड देन टू ट्रीट दैम फॉर द क्विक रिकवरी एंड रिहेबिलिटेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट्स सो हियर आर the various uh, sub disciplines of uh, biomedical engineering and all of these individual disciplines are very much very vast okay it would be very difficult to cover even these uh, sub disciplines in separate in detail it would take very long period of time so it is a very uh, vast uh, field the field of biomedical engineering and uh, it is uh, relatively as compared to other disciplines as compared to other subjects it is it is a relatively new field okay uh, so so it has a uh, very much scope for uh, more and more research and uh, uh more to know more and more in detail about this subject so here we have discussed uh, some of the basic introductory concepts just a basic introduction to the field of biomedical engineering in the upcoming videos we'll discuss in detail about the various other associated concepts with it so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much